Sports coverage you can count on with the Highlight Zone starts now. Pretty much our conference game, really big for us. They want to win just as much as you want to win. Not a, it's not a revenge piece or anything like that. Everybody staying focused, not messing around. There's a little bit more at stake here. Just doing our job on every play. Oh, hi there. Just enjoying a magic burger from Churubusco, and maybe it's the key to the magic for the Churubusco football team on the football field. Now, the only thing scarier than the clowns at the magic burger at the Magic Wand, I should say, would be a good Central Noble team, a team that could knock off those Churubusco Eagles. That's the matchup we had in your Highlight Zone Game of the Week. And Andy McDonald joins us now with more on the big game. Andy. Thank you, Glenn. I'm glad you're enjoying that Magic Burger. Like Will Ferrell in the movie Old School, the Cougars and Eagles, they're going streaking. Coming in, Central Noble, winners of five straight. Churubusco, six in a row. Central Noble at Class 1A, number three, Churubusco, your highlight zone game of the week. A win by Busco, and they clinch the NECC small division outright. But Central Noble, yeah, they knocked off the Eagles 19-17 last year in Albion. No short-term memory for the Eagles. First quarter, Jake Falk around the edge and down the sideline to the house. There would be no deja vu tonight for this team. Reese Wicker, he'd make sure of that. Yeah, he's an offensive lineman, the junior, leading the charge around the edge and watch this block. Boom. Yeah, that's a top play nominee from the old lineman there for Busco. We'll get a replay of it just to see you. Uh, yeah, see you tomorrow. They take to the air. In the second quarter, it's a 14 zip already when Tom Richards finds Gage Kelly on the bootleg. 21 zip Busco right there, still in the second. Central Noble, they break loose. Nick Rawls, long one, 80 yard scamper. Yeah, this is actual speed. It's 28 7 at the half. This Eagles team, though, so many weapons and they know how to use them. Five different players found the end zone on the night, including Joey Eisenhower. Here, Eimenheiser here, the Busco. They claim the NECC small division title outright. No sharing, 42-14, that final. There was definitely a bad taste in our mouth. It tastes a lot better this year, obviously. They were a great team. It feels good to beat them. We haven't been up there in a while. I mean, last year we shared it, but we haven't been outright champs in over five years, I think, so it just feels great. I've thought about 365 days. I've nonstop thinking about it. Be more physical than there, take more punishment, and give out more punishment. The, you know, we lost it last year. Uh, there's no, we were in the driver's seat, and uh, we laid an egg against Central Noble. And I think that, uh, you know, to, to be in control of your own destiny and, and to execute when you need to and, and finish things. And you know, we we, was a, we we talked a lot this week about playing four quarters. And, and magical it is for the Magic Burger Busco at West Oval in Week Eight, while Central Noble hosts East Side Glen. Back to you.